Are UFOs killing us and impregnating women? Y'all, there is a lot to cover today. There's even talks of alien bases on the moon. Recently, the government has admitted to Project Kona Blue, a project that was in place to reverse engineer spacecraft. And just the other day, Tucker Carlson had a conversation with Joe Rogan on Joe Rogan's podcast, talking about Kona Blue and talking about the fact that UFOs have killed people. Now, you may feel some type of way about Tucker Carlson, and that is fine, but what he is saying is kind of backed up with what we've learned from the government. Let's not forget that in 2022, the Pentagon admitted that UFOs have left radiation burns and unaccounted for pregnancies, which, it's that's not funny, it's weird. Like, that's such a weird thing to say and not really give much of an explanation on but uh, it is a fact that ufos do hurt us and i don't think it's necessarily on purpose i think it's just the fact that they're coming from the cosmos and they're carrying all of this radiation from space and we're like oh my god ufo and like we're not wearing any suits or anything uh, and then you know we get radiation burn and like cancers and all that stuff that comes along with awesome space radiation but let's dive in today. We're going to check out what Tucker Carlson had to say, a little little excerpt. Then we're going to dive into News Nation talking about the government uh, admitting Kona Blue. And then we're going to check out that base on the moon, which is very interesting. All right, let's see. New Tucker Carlson tells Joe Rogan that U.S. servicemen have died as a result of being in contact with UFOs. Says he thinks aliens are a spiritual phenomenon. U.S. servicemen have died as a result of contact with or being in proximity to these vehicles. Let's U.S. See. servicemen have died as mm. a result of contact mm. with or being in the proximity of these vehicles. Mm -hmm. And we know that because there are a lot of suits working their way through the VA system. Yeah. Because they're not Where getting families, the families not getting compensated. You know, can't get mm -hmm. compensated for the deaths or injuries to loved ones. Because that, it's all under wraps, top secret. Well, that's just that's just a fact, okay, that that is happening. So if there's, I guess, you know, when there are measurable physical effects of a phenomenon, we can say conclusively the phenomenon is real. Right. And, and, and let's um, not forget, let's not forget, the Soviet reports that we have declassified not that long ago stated about the UFO that they found in the woods and the, the servicemen there as the as the entities formed a light being five entities i believe formed one light being the servicemen that were not hidden turned to pillars of limestone and if you guys want to see a video on that leave a comment below because we could dive deep into that and we're still making that video on ayahuasca and a few other things so yeah but I mean, isn't it, it, is, it is i mean i guess we're sort of past the point of like is it whether real? it's real or yeah, not it's real. right yeah it's right it's real you. in that there's these things that are moving in very bizarre ways and they have these propulsion systems that violate what we know and tucker about believes they're spiritual systems. because as a religious person uh, he looks at the book of enoch which i respect again i don't really i think religion i think the state of religion is a mess but I, I get where he's coming from. The Book of Enoch does talk about it. I don't know that it's religious, but because of that, he takes it in a spiritual sense. But as we've said before, religions are just a translation in the time that they were made of the phenomena that's happening because we have no idea what the hell's going on. And we know that there is a, a real effort and has been underway for a long time to, mm -hmm. to keep the public from knowing about it. But that's all known that's established i don't think any rational person would deny that the question is like what is it actually i mean now is sort of the point yeah. you have to ask like what is what this? is that what is going on and um those are the questions we know, need to so ask that's how much of it do you think is ours well none of it's ours none of it mm. well i don't know i mean I well, clearly you know the u.s government is huge it's the largest human organization there are, i think then i think that right i mean i even if we reverse engineered it it's theirs right like they made it i get what he's saying two I feel million like federal employees some... and another 10 million federal contractors so who are effectively government employees but don't have civil service protection for example um so that's 12 million people in a country of 340 million working for the federal government so it's kind of hard to overstate how big the federal government is mm -hmm. and how well funded 
And so to say the government this, the government that, no, of course, it's people within the government. Um, uh, yes, yes. See, I don't always agree with Tucker Carlson. I think he's a little cray cray sometimes, but yes. Yeah, they're working on all kinds of things, obviously, uh, that are classified. But in general, no, they they can't control these objects. Mm -hmm. uh, so, no, it's not American technology. Well, s or Russian or Chinese. It predates if, thank all you. of that. Yes. Well, some of it does, right? Like, for sure. No, all of it does. Is... They've been. <sighs> was Sorry. Really early on. That was like the 19, early 1950s. He was seeing these. But ancient aliens have been here. That were moving over mountains. Well, Right. I mean, the prophet Ezekiel writes about it right. in the first chapter, Wheels in the Sky. You yeah, know, that's so. a crazy one. Boy, when you Well, read it that, is crazy. If you, yeah. if you read it, it's like, oh, wow. Yeah. You know, and wheels in the Sky. So, with and wheel. not just, you know, the Hebrew scriptures, like, it's all over every... Mm -hmm. The Vedic text. Of course. Mm -hmm. So, these are spiritual phenomena. There's no evidence they're from another planet. I mean, I think that's the op, that's the lie, oh. that they're from Mars. Look... Space, the atmosphere is really well monitored, right? Both for military, for defense reasons, but also that, because we don't like, die. Nice to know when asteroids are right. coming. Yeah, exactly. Like, and there's no a, evidence yeah, has never exactly. been any evidence. There's lots of these <laughs> objects, these vehicles coming into our atmosphere from somewhere else, some other planet. There's no evidence of that at all. It's like they just appear. But then that goes into, is it spiritual or is it interdimensional? And then that goes into what's the difference between spiritual and interdimensional right we don't really know the spiritual realm we don't really know the interdimensional realm and so what if these are the same things look 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 joe rogan talking across and discussing ancient ufos six thousand year sumerian tablet look at this guys the three homies in it right we don't we we have no idea and it's sad that the government may know a little bit more and they're not giving us any information so that we can educate ourselves let's check this out before we move on to news nation what is this we'll see a few ufo sightings that's the moon our fuck is fucked up our government is what fucked up why bam oh what did it just say look at it that's the Falcon 9 the thing, ring. the plume that it lets out, the rocket from SpaceX. I will say there is a comment in here. I think I don't, someone said it's still very strange because I don't know how a rocket does that. And to be fair, I don't either, but I am not a rocket scientist. But that is, that is what that is. <laughs> and we have this bad boy here posted by Think Tank. Definitely looks like one of the cigar shaped UFOs. Really interesting. Seems to be moving slowly. Of course, the video is only 45 seconds, so I know already we're going to wish <laughs> that there was more to this. <laughs> oh, it already it already clipped over and restarted. Really interesting, though. Interesting shape. So we're rife today with UFO news. There's even documents that have been coming out. Like this, the B-52 radar picks up object on collision course, estimated speed 10,000 to 14,000 miles per hour. Like literally crazy things are coming out. So we're going to jump into News Nation. They've been talking about some of these files and they've definitely been talking about um, Project Kona Blue, which has now been confirmed. Let's check this out. Y'all know we love some News Nation up in here. Joining us now is News Nation special correspondent Ross Coltart. What's your mm -hmm. reaction, Ross, to these uh, declassified, now newly declassified documents in Kona Blue. Mind you, mind you, mind you, we were just at, we were just at, oh, um, uh, what was it? There's no aliens. There's no such thing as aliens. Okay, well, maybe there is. Okay, all right, there are aliens. But we weren't, like, reverse engineering their ships. That's crazy. No, we didn't have any secret programs where we were reverse engineering their ships. Okay, we had like this reverse engineer program, and it was like, bro, come on. <laughs> well, look, it does sound sci-fi, but I can tell you there are mm. people inside the Defense Department, former and serving, who do believe that the claims made in the Kona Blue documents were 
authentic. But mm -hmm. that's vigorously disputed, of course, by the URO, the Pentagon's UAP investigation team. They did their historical review and published a few weeks ago, and they said, yes, there was this code name, Kona Blue program, that was proposed, never implemented, but oh. proposed oh, no, it's never as a special okay. access program, one of the deepest, darkest secrets in the US government. And, and they claim at Arrow that, of course, they investigated and they found no evidence to support claims of retrieved non-human technology. Of course what they did. But these are, if, these are the same people that can't pass their own audit and we allowed them to investigate themselves. Come on now. That we now have a very clear difference of opinion inside the Defense Department and also inside mm. the intelligence community. Mm. Because one of the things that's conspicuous, ever since that Arrow historical report, report was published a few weeks ago, which refuted Kona Blue's documents and said that there was nothing in the whole program, the allegations... But the documents came out, premises, buddy. What's been conspicuous is that the Office of the Director of National Intelligence the intelligence czar that was appointed post 9 11 to centralize and control intelligence in the united states they haven't backed the pentagon's claims in the arrow report have they contradicted them or are they just not commenting they're just not commenting and it's very interesting but that's because that's very I telling that's very telling that they're not even commenting because they would confirm and corroborate and they're not going to want to be like, well, no, they're lying, right? But if they are lying, they're not going to put themselves behind that lie. So they're just not going to say anything. Oh, there is a split between the intelligence community and the Defense Department. The Pentagon's decided to bluff it out and go it alone. There are people who are passionately of the view that there is authentic, recovered, non-human technology yeah. in the possession of the United of States. And they are determined to get access to it so that its utility can be exploited, weapons can be developed, technologies can be... Yes, yes, all of this, of course, and technology and energy, blah, blah, blah. But also, it's our damn money. Like, that's, that's our taxes. The taxes that I pay, and I have to pay more taxes because I'm out of the country right now. So they're like, oh, hey, you're still operating and you're out here. Like, are you kidding me? No. Yeah, that's our damn money. What's going on? Where are these projects? If we have UFOs, I want to see them. ...to the benefit of the American people. The problem is there's a group inside Tell the Pentagon. Me what they lost believe... Lost I elected you. To lost technology. your damn mind. And that's what the decision to not make Kona Blue a special access program was all about. This was an attempt by a group of committed people inside the Pentagon who, who do believe... This I just want to say, News Nation came out of nowhere. Was it during COVID? I don't know. They just came out of nowhere, and they have been hitting hard ever since. Proud of y'all. Love it. Love them. Technology exists to try and make sure that they did everything properly by the book, All right. by the law. Is it and possible? Unfortunately, they were blocked. Ross, is it possible that David Grush might have conflated? I mean, was he? It was it Kona Blue that he was talking about, or was he talking about a completely different program? different project? I'm sure the Pentagon would love you all to believe that the, the David Grush is a deluded person who has no idea what he's, what he's talking talk about. Uh, and that's huh? certainly the line that's they're what they want. at the moment. Yeah. What I can tell you is that there is an abundance of independent, objective witnesses who back what David Grush says exactly. to Exactly. And uh, this is slowly going to come out whether the Pentagon chair. likes it or not. And uh, unfortunately, we have a situation now where the government is actively being, I believe, misled by people in the Pentagon mm. who have determined to try and cover up and deceive the American public. Ross Coulter. I'm sorry, I love her because she loves it. She's eating it all up. You saw his book, and she's like, spill the tea. It's changing her paper, yes. <laughs> How did they come up with Kona Blue? Like, well, how's that a nickname for a top really right. program to reverse engineer? <laughs> I mean, I always wonder how they do that. Uh, Ross, great to have you on the show, as always. I love that. I love it. I love that they are literally, they cover everything possible, but they take the UFO situation seriously, which we don't see a lot of news stations doing. So not, not only are they covering world news, but anytime something happens with UFOs, they are on it and they're, you, yep. Subscribe. Go subscribe to News Nation now. <laughs> now check this out, right? Because there's more. I'm telling you. And look, there's even another one here. They 
they have again they've really been on it and this information is going to come out whether the government wants it or not and i love Kona it blue have anything to do with the program david grush, grush uh -huh. says exists news nation's joe khalil is here now with more joe there well, is we got a joe tiny credibility question here the pentagon has been saying for the past year there was never any such reverse engineering program now it pentagon. says oh there was mm. one but it never really got started yeah that's what I, they're always how are we going to trust the pentagon how are we going to trust them the, how are, they are always lying and then they backtrack on their own lies like oh no we're telling people are like oh no they're telling the truth no they're not they just back on their own lie do you think they're not just adding another lie to this so that we never find out the truth Fucking assholes. yeah i mean there were rumors about this program the code name kona blue for a long time now and it was only last month that they acknowledged for the first time ever that it existed now we are getting an inside look at how this program was propped up so mm -hmm. it's called kona blue it is real it was a special access program very highly classified it was proposed from the pentagon to the department of homeland security we now have all of these declassified documents mm -hmm. and in them it describes the purpose of the program as and i'm going to quote here acquiring studying and engineering technology that the u.s got from uaps or ufos, UFOs. And the documents uh -huh. refers to them as aavs advanced aerospace Space vehicles, vehicles. yep the program yep. was scrapped by uh, the department of homeland security but not before years of planning went into it from the pentagon and they it describes in detail how they stood the program up they set a budget 12 million dollars to 15 million the first and again this is all coming out now they're going to talk about the budget you can look up these documents i'm gonna have some of the stuff linked below but this is getting crazy it's getting so out of hand that day after day at this point we're catching them in their lies where they have to backtrack on themselves y'all we have again this is from two years ago this report ufos left radiation burns and unaccounted for pregnancies new pentagon report claims the same pentagon that is saying oh these things don't exist and we didn't have this um reverse engineering program just kidding they may exist and we do have an engineering program but we didn't green light it two two years ago this same pentagon is telling us how ufos left radiation burns and unaccounted for pregnancies so which one is it then why are you backtracking now saying they don't exist when literally two years ago you told us the opposite telling us that they were a danger to us and our health oh my god 1500 pages of ufo related research has was just declassified as a part of the freedom of information act this is when all of this came out y'all i'm gonna have this article linked below as well but like i said in the beginning people have died like, and not just like one person, it's happened several freaking times. And now, a base on the moon? You know, he told me how everything worked. He showed me the equipment where the digital information came in, where it was converted to photographic images. They were doing 35 millimeter strips of film at that time, which were then assembled into 18 and a half by 11 inch uh, mosaics, they were called. Mm -hmm. There was a digital signature and a grayscale on every 35 millimeter strip. And those, those strips were from successive passes around the moon. And they would take and build up a photograph. They would scan one section of the moon, then another and another, and then they would get a larger image. So this, this mosaic is, then this is like, would be... These are up close, right? They send them up to the moon and they're like up close to the surface. So it's not like they're out and getting a picture. They are photographing the landscape to essentially... Almost like how uh, Google Maps or the maps do the, the now where you can see the street and it's actually not exactly real time, but, you know, pretty close. And the satellite images, that's what they're doing on the moon. A contact printer, and that was then a print that was issued to now, this might be, this the, is the scientist, whatever, wherever that was intended to go. So he was showing me how all this worked, and we walked over to one side of the lab, and he said, by the way, we've discovered a base on the back side of the moon. And I said, I said, Hello? who's? <laughs> what do you mean, who's? He said, who's yes, base? There's, we've discovered a base on the back side of the moon. And at that point... Mind you, mind you, when they, when astronauts went to the moon and were going around the moon, when they went to the far side and couldn't see the Earth anymore, they lost communication with the Earth. And 
they heard a strange humming, which the astronauts described as uh, outer space music. Uh, we could do a video on that as well. Let me know in the comments. But that was really, really freaky. So it's not just the base. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in the moon. Like we all know it run like a bell, which is its own weird thing. I became frightened and I was a little terrified, thinking to myself that if anybody walks in the room now, I know we're in, we're in jeopardy. We're in mm. trouble because he shouldn't be giving me this information. It's classified. I was fascinated by it, but I also knew that he was overstepping a boundary that he shouldn't be stepping over. And, he could have gotten you and both then he killed. pulled out one of these mosaics and showed showed this base. And they do show which, the, the mosaic at the end. Geometric shapes. There were towers. There were sacred geometry. Uh, spherical uh, buildings. Uh, there were very spheres tall, and spirals. Uh, towers and things that looked somewhat like radar dishes, but they were large structures. Mm. So, I um, I didn't say any more to him because I was concerned mm. again that somebody was going to come in at any moment, would catch us having this conversation, and we would be in 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 real trouble. You'd be dead. I realized be that dead. he was telling me this information because he didn't have anybody else to talk to. Especially at the time, he, like, this is way back when that he's talking about getting the information. They didn't give a crap back then. It's not like there was social media to be like, oh, my God, they did. Uh, uh, gone without a trace. Now, probably in that laboratory, he was probably one of the few uh, enlisted people, and he was a worker bee. And he had a high-level security clearance, obviously. But he couldn't share that information with anybody else. And in those days, we didn't. When you had your security clearance, you took it seriously. It isn't like today where people don't right. take these things seriously. It was we an oath. a different set of morals and ethics yeah. and values. That's the way we were raised. Because you took an oath when you said, yeah, bound by I respect those it. Agreements. I was born back in the so day. So it was it. rare that mm -hmm. someone would, would do something like this. But this fellow and I were the same rank. I think he, he was very distressed. Uh, he, he had the same power and demeanor as the scientists outside the room. They were just as concerned as he was. Hmm. And he needed, to, he needed to discuss He wanted it to get it somebody. off his chest. So that was the end of it right there. I didn't take it any further than that. I, you know, I, I just filed it away. Imagine, imagine people were like, oh, why, why didn't, some people in the comments were like, well, why didn't he, but it was really scary. Like they could literally kill you and it was, you not only that but it was ostracized like they made everyone feel like you were crazy if you believed in this stuff it became a thing of science fiction which isn't fair because until something is actually disproven there should be a science to prove and or disprove it but i'm not going to get into that right now but the interesting thing every day that i went home I would think to myself, I can't wait to hear about this on the news, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, Amen. so I'd turn on the TV and I'd look at the news to see Nothing. if they're going to announce, we've discovered a base on the back side of the moon, being really naive. You know? yeah. And, of course, here it is 30-some years later, and we still haven't heard about it. Look at that. And you can see this pyramid-like structure, the circular, like, disc-shaped thing he was talking about. You can see that this part here is it's made with purpose. It's a shape. It looks like a line with a circle in the middle. There's just a lot going on on the moon. And they don't tell us any of this stuff. Incredible. Look, you can see structures in the middle of these craters. Um, some even claim that they were domes. Wild stuff. I love, I love how they put all the question marks. What are these things? <laughs> and mind you, these are astronauts. These are people that are trained for this, that are baffled, literally baffled by what the hell is going on. I'm absolutely floored. And we still have no information, no real information, just a ton of backtracking, even after they tell us, oh, yeah, they can kill you. And again, the way that it seems, the way everyone's talking about, the way the reports are coming out, it's not like the aliens are killing us, but like the ships have radiation or the craft or whatever the case, and that hurts us. And 
we should know what the hell's going on. We need to be able to protect ourselves. Oh, there's just so much that's going on today. Especially with UFOs. I can't believe they coined a blue league. I think that's incredible and scary at the same time. Guys, let me know what you think. What do you think of all this news? What do you think the aliens are actually doing? How dangerous do you think UFOs are? And how close do you think we are to the truth? Let me know in the comments below. Smash that like if you like this. Smash this like if you didn't. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and keep looking up, y'all, and have your cameras ready.